Hello, and welcome to part two of the third lecture in this series of lectures on the lesson tool in Moodle. If you're viewing this lecture through the lesson on Moodle, then you are here. So here is my lesson, and all it has right now is one page, which is the main menu. And the next thing I need to do is add these other content pages. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you how to deal with something that's a little counterintuitive. I'm going to go into the main menu and edit it. Note, the links are all hidden when you first open a page. You can expand them all with this handy dandy little link here. But what if I wanted more links? What if I, say, was setting up a multiple choice question and it had more than five possible answers? So it would be really nice if there was a button down here to add more options, uh, but that's not how they decided to do it. And so let me show you how it in fact works. And counterintuitively, you need to go into Edit Settings. And in appearance, the maximum number of answers is what you need to adjust. So I'm going to set that to seven just to show you what that does. And I'll go back to the edit page. And if I now go into this main menu and expand all of the links, you'll see there are now two more available that I could add. Now I don't actually need them. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So now I'm going to add these other content pages. So notice that here in this main menu, there's an option under the actions to add a new page. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to select a content page. And now I'm going to fill this out and you've already seen this one. So I'm going to do it quickly, except for one step that I'll show you in more detail. So the thing I want to show you is something you may have seen in another video. It is how to add a video in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a piece of text and it could actually be anything because this piece of text will not be seen. It's just something for me to add a link to. And I'm now going to click this button here to make a link. And I now need to enter the URL of the video. So I have my YouTube channel open here to a playlist where I've been putting my teaching videos. And here is the one I want. So I'm going to open it. And now I'm going to grab the URL and stick it in here. And that should be that. And note that this jump uh, probably will actually work, but I'll likely come in and fix it later once I've added this question page. And so here I am back on the main editing page and you now see the main menu and that new page that I just made. And each of them has a way to add a page just after it. So now rather than add in these other three content pages, because they're all going to be quite similar to this one, I'm going to just take this one and I'm going to make some copies of it. So I'm duplicating and then I'll go into these duplicates and edit them. And I'll quickly show you one of those and then I'll do the others without showing you that. So that's all good, except this video link is wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the unlink on it. Okay, so that's removed the link from it. And now I'm going to link and put in the video I actually want here. And that's that page. And I will fix these others up without showing you that. All right, so I have edited these pages and the next thing I'm going to do is create this question. So because it follows from 
lecture one here. I'm going to go to lecture one and I'm going to add it right after it. Now I could actually add it anywhere because you can put things in any order you want and just take care of them being seen in the right order with the links, but you're very likely to confuse yourself if you do that. So you want to put them in an order that's fairly close to the order students are likely to see them. So I'm going to add a question page. And I'm going to choose a multiple choice. Note there are some options. It's not as many options as you would have in the quiz tool, but that's because questions are not really the central point of these lessons. And now this is a lot like adding any multiple choice question, say in a quiz, the interface is very similar. So I have all the bits of this in another file, so I can just copy them in. I've added all the choices that will be presented, but it's a good idea to add some feedback. So I'm going to do that. And I will fix up the links later. So I'm now done adding that question in. Here it is in the main edit page. And I'm now going to add in the rest of these, but I'm going to do that offline without showing you that process since it's just more of the same. So in lecture four, I will show you how to link this all together.